Hello Zeri Heer and welcome to the 9 lives to defend demo. Let's just go start. Oh, we need to play normal first. Most stuff is unlocked. Normal mode, hard mode. Well, let's just play normal. Amulet, start the game with 3 chances to switch upgrade cards. Well, let's see how this plays. So WASD to move. Each character has a different cooldown. Can be improved in the hideout. Attacks and uh, attack and defense, uh, defense cards uh, slots are limited. Note the symbol on the cards. Hold the button to view all. App. Skip something. Oh, this experience. It's better by killing enemies. Fill the kibble bar to refill the bowl. Also restore health. The kibble counter indicates how much you earn at the end of the match. Use it for, uh, for purchases at the hideout. In an instinct bar, recharge over time and release special attacks can be proved at the hideout. Yeah, we have auto targeting active. There we go, level up. First scattering, 10% chance to scatter furball fragments. Energy drain, recharges 0.3% of the feline instinct bar for every defeated enemy. Here, scatter paralyzed enemies for a while. Or hungry, store health immediately, single use. Hell no. We're getting first scattering. So it's all related to the cats. That's neat. Don't really like the tutorial how they did it. Tries to just overwhelm you completely. The burst multiplies the amount of fur boss fired 40% per ball. For the pool bomb that explodes over time or upon touch. Now give me the fur blast. to be affecting each other. Pick all this up. If I can. Uh, let's see. Adrenaline. Reduces the cooldown of all slots by 5%. Tell increases kibble collection area. Broom smashes enemies with the broom. Appearing nearby uh, randomly near Loki. Uh, give me adrenaline. Oh wait, that, that doesn't use a slot. Does it? It's just a passive buff. Oh, we only have like 3 health. Yeah. So that's the... Uh, the thing you can easily die. Well, I'm guessing you have like nine lives. Scratcher plus three damage to main attack, critical chance up the main weapon. The yarn ball that after stopping, no, stop spinning, scatter needles, oh, needles in various directions. Use Loki's claw to attack and knock back enemies. Oh, I'll take this. Oh, we're... Yeah, we're dead. Revive! Yeah, because we have 9 lives. Basically, it becomes a nuke. Oh, yeah, it becomes way worse now. Try to hard to recharge. Oh, that's a sing... These are all single uses. Good blast. Yeah, that hasn't triggered that much. Also getting way more uh, ranged enemies. Yeah, got hit in the face by a bullet immediately. Okay, it's a safe zone, so I don't know. Give me this. Yeah, wave. We can still get a lot of uh, abilities. Be 
can throw a flip flop in front of Loki, find screw jumpers at angles, antidotes, use up attacks from enemy projectiles. Uh, now give me fur uh, burst. Two cover toss. Oh, it's kind of impossible to get there. The looks of it. On the bottom, the top is your XP main, uh, meter. Hey, what does this do? Can that be nothing? That only when you damage. Wait, that did two damage. Long go. That's a problem. Giant fur ball. Even better bullets. How I even don't know what hit me. Getting worse. Fire the toast that fires those damages damages twelve. Try this. It seems like an app wow. I start moving and immediately get hit several times. Oh it actually places one down. progress or something. Kind of hard. Yeah, we're also taking two damage now. This time. 30% chance of firing more. If we can fire way more bullets, that would help a lot. Especially because a lot of these are faster than I am. But, uh, yeah, we're not gonna live long. Especially with all the random bullets after me. No way. Hey, yeah, we're dead. Hey, just know you're not gonna survive this with these enemies. Oh, wait, can't we? Put one damage to all attack slots. There's a shield. You bow kibble on the map to restore health. Now give me all damage up. Yeah, we got I have a dodge uh, thing. It crashes at a really low speed. Restores on health, kind of useless. Let's with the, um, the damage we take. Uh, let's actually go to the main menu. Oh, that was fast. Let's go hide out. Oh, we require like 400 each. Oh, it looks like there's several uh, versions. Let's... Missions? Oh, missions are not in. I like an easier way to scroll this. But yeah, it's like 400 at each. I actually see how crazy it becomes if we just play on uh, easy mode. Maybe that's the way to go early on. So we get like a few more buffs. I think the biggest issue is that some of the enemies will just hit you for two. So you take two hits quickly after each other, and you're just dead. Uh, give me the no, give me the kibble. 
pick up radius. Because I don't know where it stores that. Like I get it. I get the uh, pick up radius. Let's see, recharge. Give me the yarn ball. So that's an attack ability. Oh, it drops a ball of yarn on the ground. Which then explodes. That's not that great. At least not early on. As first scattering 10% chance. Going to just scatter all over the place. It's a really nice ability for the main weapon. We also don't have piercing. Turn the dark and laser pointer. Fires a laser pointer readily with crazy movements. Kind of paralyzes enemies around you for a while. Well, let's use the laser pointer. Oh, that's neat. Oh, it's completely random. It's kind of fun to see all these uh, cat related things. Let's do school down. I'm guessing the passive buffs are not shown on the on the list. Just run into those. Yeah, it looks like the more cable you gather, the more meta progress you get. Uh, into use. That could be more that, uh, damage to the uh, main attack. So I've done. We'll do more damage. Hopefully get the uh, explosion chance or whatever it's called way up for the scatter. Uh, let's get the ball. Uh, give me crit chance. Pointer is kind of decent. Yeah, another twenty percent of first scattering. You can get that high enough. But it mostly triggers. We can deal a lot of more damage. Why is it annoying? They're really fast. Oh, you can just activate that. Let's see. Multiplies the amount of fur boss fired. Plus 40% per ball. That seems decent. Oh, we should probably just restore our health. Laser movement and damage by one. Uh, I actually summon the toaster. That seems to be like an epic weapon. It does straight up 12 damage. Like I said, some of these just do 2 damage immediately. No, I, I was only missing one health. I think that needs to be fixed. As if all the enemies just deal like one damage, so you need to get hit three times before you die. And not just quickly die because you get hit twice. 
but then you can't regenerate. Or have it that uh, those things give you a, a hell, uh, full, uh, full life or something. Increases furball size and hit resistance. What does that do? Oh, I think that gives it best too. At least for the first. I think I like the laser pointer quite a bit. Oh, that's strange. Minus cooldown would also lower damage. No, the two cooldown of all slots. So, pull the enemy straight in front of my face. As we went there, that's the enemy. Yeah, immediately got hit by two. Go for the two of the value. And now it doesn't deal anymore. Not easy mode, this is not easy. Let's see, throw flip flop. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, that is a quick way of just murdering them. Or just get hit by projectiles twice really quickly. Uh, what just hit me? Except my poisons. Let's cool down even further. Yeah, this seems to be a bit unbalanced. Oh, it actually slows you to fall. I need to remind myself that I can actually use that dust thing. Uh, let's see. The laser pointer. Hit, that's one damage. Perhaps he does a lot of it in uh, line with an enemy. Oh, so that's still huge damage. What's this? Activate. Build it every day. Oh, that's a boss. Do not destroy toast on impact. I'm guessing it's a. Uh, Let's see... Cards? Still not that great. Three. This actually makes it worse. Uh, Sharpsmith. Increase damage. So the toaster now has infinite range. Like the flip flop has like a, a random direction. Oh, controls are backwards. Oh, that's horrible. I got hit by some kind of first bullet, and it just completely reversed my movement. This size. Control. That goes. Get hit in the face. Let's pick this up. Do my health. That boss is kind of hard to kill. The sheer amount of health it has. I 
don't like certain upgrades, how they work. Should probably give iframes to the uh, darts. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Doesn't have it at all. I made it easy and it's still not that easy. I'm guessing it's mostly built for the meta progression. So you need to level up your uh, main attack by a bunch. I just use the broom, see if that works. So it looks like the broom has a massive AoE. Yep. Yeah, so the broom is really useful against a lot of uh, small enemies. He's going in overdrive. Oh, that's what hit me. What is that? These things explode. We got them. Oh, almost. Now we got them. Winner! Yeah, plus 300 for the uh, to win the level. Now we go to hideout. There's amulets. So start the game with 10 chances to switch upgrade cards. There's an upgraded version from this, what I'm guessing. Watch the effects of enemy projectiles dealing only damage. Released extra health cards for in game upgrades. And these are all locked. So double kibble. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a bunch of uh, amulets you can get later on. Probably an easier way to uh, get at these points. More health. So uh, that makes it easier. Cooldown for feline instinct. Power. Speed. That cooldown down. I think we need damage mostly. Do we? Our ways of getting that up. It doesn't look. Oh, these are specific for these uh, characters. Let's get the cooldown. Yeah, we can't play as these two yet. I'm guessing... Yeah, these are not in. Yeah, the higher you play, the more the... All the kibble you get. Can try in normal again, we probably die. Get to use our uh, alt early on. Um, speed tail. We're getting tail. Also, I think because we don't have any piercing, it's kind of hard to deal with. We want a lot of damage, and it looks like our fire rate is a bit higher. Uh, yeah, give me the adrenaline. No cooldown reduction. Well, that might be only on the slots. Now let's activate this. Just murder everything. Giant furball. So that should give us piercing. Best to recharge every time we kill something. 
Let's try that. They're all single use. Oh wait, it's not bad. Let's see if we can get the range up. And the broom is something I might want to get. Purely for its AoE capabilities. Yeah, so the giant ball is actually what gives you pierce through. I think the higher the level is, the further it gets. We can get another ball. I don't think I want the toaster. Yeah, give me more giant furball. It's a massive piercing. I can't see. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Yeah, the black and the darker attacks make it so you can't see what's happening. See what? Oh, we need more weapons. That's the issue. Activate. Kill everything. Level up. Uh, let's do switch cards. I care. No, I want the broom. Broom's actually decent. Let's see. Multiplies the amount of fur balls fired. Lowest the damage by 40%, but it's double shot, so still a what's that, a 20% increase if you hit by a with both bullets. And in the end, more damage capabilities. And now we can actually take those uh, slugs out. Let's see, giant furball. is in, can actually get it, not get murdered, yeah there's no iframes, like even on dodging, it's in my opinion kind of a bad idea, I need a poop bomb, that actually works, well, kills a lot of them, it's And fire all. Kill all of them. Level up. For adrenaline. Less cooldown. Kind of loud when it goes that way, even bigger. Cooldown is still abysmal, though. Instinct, we drain energy. As we can activate that, the better. I do more meow wave. Oh, 
a small version of, of the boss that's being a pain in the ass. I thought it would be hit immediately. Uh, give me more damage on the main weapon. Pretty sure that means that it's on the gun. The sound effects by a barn, so that bomb is still loud as hell. I want to tune that down. The help immediately? Nope. Uh, give me the laser pointer. If I need to choose, I'll take the laser pointer. Through the bullets. That was not enough to uh, level up. Adding by 20% and damage up by 2. Well, that seems decent. If the bombs have like a massive AoE size, that's gonna help a lot. I don't need to get back to. Oh, we're dead. At least doing decently. Word on the boss battle. Yep, that was the same boss. It's probably only one boss now. I might not be able to uh, take damage while I'm in, in that mode. Kind of funny, the more enemies you kill, the faster it recharges, even while you're in the uh, attack mode. It still recharges it. Yeah, next up we probably won't damage up. Does not work on boss, then this is useless. Uh, give me blue. That was up by four. Yeah, the blue might be one of the more full abilities. I still think the getting damaged by it was a bit too much. Well, that might be why we have like 9 uh, lives. Also because cats. We activate this. And we got hit in the face. Uh, give me even more broom. There was no way of dodging that at the leveling. That was a straight up you take damage now. Oh yeah, he's fast. Stay in that area so you can uh, get exploded. Oh, come on. Yeah, no iframes at all.
At least I'm gonna take hit, uh, hit now where it actually damages the boss as well. Go. Hit it. It was not willing to attack the boss for some reason. I know you can also target that yourself instead of auto targeting. The levels are really short, what I've noticed. It doesn't seem to be working really well with like mouse control sometimes. Okay, you can get maximum health. Cover after taking damage, I don't know what that does. Dash cooldown, but now we're taking more damage. Oh, it also becomes way more expensive. This might be neat. Well, let's get card back. For 10 times. So this is basically rerolls, so it start with 13 rerolls immediately, so you can force a build. But yeah, uh, that's it for this episode, so thanks for watching, hope you see you in the next one.